Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a Monster High Twyla doll. I started working on this doll as a part of the Tattered Fairies collection, and that was prior to finding out that we're actually doing a convention in September, so she's likely the last of the original characters in this line. Unless I decide to do a few more. What do you guys think? Are you getting tired of this style, or would you like me to make a few more? Let me know in the comments section what you think. So I've worked on three other Twyla's, and she's one of my very favorite Monster High dolls to customize. She's so cute, and just not only as a customizer, but I really like the doll prior to customization, you know, how she's purchased. She's just so cute. She's one of the little sisters, so she's small, and I just adore her face sculpt. I love her interesting shaped nose, and overall face shape is just very pretty. So kind of keeping in tune with the others. I'm giving her sort of a, a confused, sad look. It's one of my very favorite expressions on dolls, so I tend to go for that when I want something really cute. So to do that, I usually do a, like a more shading in the inner corner of the eyelid and blend that out. So I added just a little bit of a like a brown tint to the highlights and that's because the overall look of the doll, I don't want it to be bright white uh, or bright purple. I want it to match the Tattered Fairies outfit that I made for her. You can see those in the pictures at the end of the video. Um, but I wanted her to be a little more um, tannish tinge to her um, rather than a bright purple color if that makes any sense <laughs> so I've really been loving this small angled brush to do some shading around the eyebrows and eyelids and around the nose and of course my favorite eyeshadow brush from the dollar store <laughs> the wet and wild eyeshadow brush I use for the cheeks giving her some blush so here it looks uh, really bright so I'd like to use some colorless blender to blend it out a little more going in on the lips I'm using for all these I'm using pan pastels I'm using a pearlescent pan pastel color um, that I mixed with some red and white to give it more of a shimmery pink And I go in with my little brush that I altered by cutting it down. And then after I do the shading on the bottom lip and upper lip, then I refine it a little bit with a pencil. So I like to darken in the corners of the mouth on most of the dolls. And I'm going in with more layers of the highlights and shading that I did originally. And again, blended that out with some more colorless blender to tone it down a little. For the eyebrows, I'm going in with some white pan pastel. Her hair is like an ivory color, so I'm doing a real bright, heavy uh, brow. And then I do the pencil lines or hair lines in with a peach and brown color. For her eyes, I'm wanting them to match the overall look, so I'm making them brown and various shades of browns and taupes and sort of golden brown with a purple pupil. 
to go with their skin color. I'm using about three or four different shades of brown. I blend it in at the bottom with some white to give it more like a, a highlight and dimension. And even on the pupil where I'm using purple, I probably used about three or four shades of purple as well. I usually like to throw in a little color of like orange or yellow to give a little bit more highlight. And now I'm darkening in the white of the eyes a little bit more. And now I'm doing some highlights on the upper lip and various places just to give some interesting highlights. Once I'm happy with the look overall, then I'll spray her with about three or four coats of Mr. Super Clear and add her eyelashes and some high gloss to high gloss sealer to the eyes. On this one I left the lips matte. So if you're interested in this doll, she'll be available at the MegaCon in Tampa in September 2018. After the convention, I'll likely have a couple of fairies up in the Etsy shop, and the link to that is in the description box below. You can also email me at scuriosities at gmail.com if you'd like to check on any availability for any of these dolls. And that email address is also in the description box below. And as always, if you like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also click the bell, the bell so you can be alerted of future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye.